What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back again with another video and this time I am unboxing my two new vinyls, I know, sorry, from Urban Outfitters. So let's go right ahead and get into it. So as of recently, I've taken a very big liking to vinyl and record players and everything like that. So I decided to start collecting vinyl and I brought a record player, which is a Victrola. I'm going to show you guys uh, that in a little bit when I put the records in and play them for you guys. Um, I brought a Victrola and I know there was a lot of people saying that it does damage your records and scratches them but i dug a little bit deeper into research and there were people who said that it doesn't um so i'm a beginner so it's the first time it was cheap and affordable for me at the moment so i just went ahead and got it um i will upgrade later on down the line when i'm able to afford a very 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 good one you know so I brought these two vinyls from Urban Outfitters and I have some other ones that are coming from other places that I'm going to do videos about as well. But I got these first. So I was like, let me go ahead and do these two. We are about to open it. But you guys comment below. Let me know if you have any vinyls or record players and what do you think? I just brought one from Discog discogs or something like that um and i can't wait for that one to come because that album is my favorite album it's like my go-to album when i'm sad or depressed and it just heals everything for me and it's one of my favorite singers as well but if you guys have any vinyl or if you have a record player let me know what some records that you have and what's your favorite um where do you get your vinyl from your records from and um yeah, comment below let me know because I'm a beginner okay so I'm not gonna show y'all the other side my address <laughs> Ooh. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be doing that but Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. So, when I was younger, I would always see people who had uh, record record players and um, when I was younger, I would always see people have vinyl um, and record players and stuff like that. And I always wanted one, but I was just like, oh, they're probably expensive. So now that I have one, it's super duper cool. So this is the vinyl that I have from Urban Outfitters. Now I ordered two, but I see it's only one in the box. So I will be hitting them up and see what's going on with that. Because uh, yeah, that ain't cool. But this is it, y'all. So this is Destiny Child's, uh, The Writings on the Wall. This is one of my favorite Destiny Child albums. Like, no doubt. Like, I love Destiny Fulfilled, but I can't find it on vinyl anywhere. But this is my main favorite right here. I love this four. Even though the three was cool too, they had some hints, but these girls, like this, is my Destiny Child right here, okay? So, this is the front of it right here. It's new, it's wrapped in plastic. I know they had the 20, yeah, the 20th anniversary of their breakthrough album. So they repressed some and they put some more out. So this is the back. So I'm, when I was watching videos of them unboxing, I was like, get closer because I want to see the back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show, get closer so you guys could, well, my ring light in the way. That's the back of it. That's the girls. Oh, let me see. Okay, there we go. So they look so pretty. Wow, so 
This is it. So I'm about to open it. I, I feel like I don't even want to open it, honestly. <laughs> and I just want to keep it in the plastic. Okay, Urban Outfitters. It was $32.98. Back. Made in France. Uh, pressed on limited edition clear with black splatter vinyl. So this is the label right there in the front. So you guys can read it. I hope it ain't backwards. That's it there. It's so clear, it's just so pretty. Wow. So I'm about to open this up. So I see, okay, is we have this here, but I see it's something else in here, like a little paper. Oh no, that's my code, y'all can't see. Ooh. That's my code, y'all can't see that, so we just gonna put that to the side because I might need to use it. So this is, okay, this is the picture right here and this is the back of it with let me see they have their individual i know they have their own individual thank you notes but this is the main one from them all and i think this is like the credits from the album dedicated to oh well that's a part of that i read that <clears throat> so it says destiny's child group thanks to God who makes all things possible, Tommy, Motala, Don Leonard, Tone and Pope, Teresa La Barbara, Whites, and the Columbia Records Machine. Our manager and executive producer, Matthew Knowles, all of the producers, Shakespeare, Candy, Daryl Simmons, Missy Elliott, Rodney Jerkins, Dwayne Wiggins, Chad Elliott, Beyonce, Freddie Jerkins, Ken, Fembro and Donnie Boyton. Ty V. Terman, Ger Gerard Thomas, and Donald Holmes, Anthony Hardy, Immature, Chris Stokes, Sean, and Terry T. Those who have helped us along the way, Stephanie Gale, Wyclef Jean, Sylvia Rohn, next for a great duet, Vincent Herbert, Vincent Herbert? Oh, wait a minute. Ken Hertz, Jeremy Moore, Jonathan Haft, Angela Faye, famous artist Mona Scott. Oh, I'm, I, oh, these names. Hit co star Johns, Taj, Coco, Lily, Eric Farrell, hmm, Proline, the Music World Entertainment staff, Linda. Raglan, Angela Beyonce, Cheryl Lestrap, Chaperone, Craig Adams, Donovan Price, Jonathan Cooks, Linda, Rittenhouse, Tina Knowles, Hair and Wardrobe, Silas, Boys to Men, and John B. for a great tour. Oh. Digital Studios, Sugar Hill 24-7, Lara B. Pacific, Electric Lady, Doppler, Madhouse, Hit, Factory, and Triangle Sound, Houston's 97.9, The Box, Magic, 102, KTSU, KRBE, and all of radio retail, TV and press across the world that have supported us so much into Houston, Texas for all your love. 
Oh, that was cute. Okay, so this, that's the little picture right there in the back. So, I'm about to pull the vinyl out. It looks so sexy. So I know I have to hold it from the edges. I can't touch the... Whoa, y'all, look at that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Oh, so this is it right here. Like, that is beautiful. Wow. That's the show. Okay, side two, side one. Okay, this is side one, and then this is side two. So, I'm gonna put that back in here. Yeah, like, y'all, I'm so mad because I paid for um, Destiny's Child, and then I got Janet Jackson, which is um, the Velvet Rope. But I'm only seeing Destiny's Child, and that is a problem for me. So I'm going to see what's going on. So, okay, this the second disc, and it has the same thing. It's transparent, so. And they have the, the records, like the songs. So that's about it, y'all. Um, this, it has their thank you notes on it. So it has Kelly, Latavia, Latoya, and Beyonce. So that, you know, I always wonder like, do they go back, like, do they have the original copies of their albums and do they just go back and, like, read and reflect and talk about it? Like, I always wonder that. Do artists do that? Like, do they go back and listen to their old albums and read their thank you notes and just, like, look at it in a fan point of view like how we do? Because I always go back to my old albums that I brought and read them and look at them and... Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, so I always wonder, like, do they go back and listen to their albums? Do they read, like, the thank you notes and everything? Like, like what are their thoughts? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But I'm not going to read their individual thank you notes. We're not going to do that. Y'all can buy it from Urban Outfitters and read it yourself. So, I'm actually going to put one of the discs on my record player and play a few seconds for you guys because we don't need this video to be flagged in any way, shape, or form. So, I just want y'all to hear how it sounds, okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay, so actually, I just read it. I had to come back and say it. I just read it. Um, Janet has not shipped yet. I guess they looking forward to something but they said destiny's child pretty fast so i'm just gonna have to wait for janet but um i made them up because janet need to sit uh need to pull so i looked back at it and um, i had to come back and say it. janet actually hasn't shipped yet only destiny's child because they i guess they have a lot of them i'm not for sure but they haven't said janet jackson record as of yet it says has yet to be shipped Oh, I have to wait for it, but they need to hear it sending because that's my favorite Janet album and I need to hear it. Like, I need to hear it. Okay. 